Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank all of you for joining me for my Ocarina of Time videos. It's been a really fun and an enjoyable thing to do, but also having you guys come along with the, with the ride, enjoying the, this classic adventure has been amazing. I had this idea, you know, this is how I go. It just inspiration strikes and I have to act upon it. So what I've created here and what you're about to witness is a video that contains all of the dungeons from the Deku tree all the way through the spirit temple. So, and including the songs along the way, all the bosses, uh, not the entire dungeons, just, just parts of the dungeons and all the, some of the key moments. Really, it's just like having a dessert first, right? It's about choose your own adventure, and I chose all, the, all those sweet spots, and that's what this video is about. So yeah, we start with the Deku Tree, then we meet the princess, and then there's a couple things with the Mighty Collection that we do. Danago's Cavern, Jabba Jabba's Belly, and then of course the Temple of Time, where we advance seven years and become the grown-up Link. And then the Forest Temple, the Fire Temple, the Ice Cavern, the Water Temple, the Bottom of the Well, Shadow Temple, Spirit Temple. So all of that's included, all the bosses, all the songs, and a bunch of key moments in between. This sucker's feature length. This is like a movie length. This is telling the story of Ocarina of Time right up until we get to Ganondorf. And if you haven't checked it out, my Ocarina of Time series is up. You have a complete playlist, and so far we've gotten all the way through the Fire Temple. And after that, of course, next up I'll be going to the Water Temple. So please, check that out. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. You'll be notified when all of my new videos come out, like this one, like my Gold Skull Tele Guide, like all the Ocarina videos, and then of course I'm doing some other stuff as well that are non-Zelda. So the point is, I'm glad you're here. Let's go have fun. Enjoy the video. I'm Loud Boy. We're going to go in three... Two, one, let's go. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long as I served as a guardian spirit, I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokuri, live here with me. Each Kokuri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Hello, Link. Wake up. The great Tiku tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. Hey, hey come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Uh, uh. That's how I feel in the morning. <laughs> I feel you, Link. You finally woke up. Well, I'm Navi the Fairy. The great Tiku Tree has asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Tiku Tree has summoned you. So let's get going right now. So first things first. We have to go outside. Ah, home. inside the great Deku tree, and away we go. <laughs> this chamber has a big, massive, disgusting spider, and I hate spiders. You know, Indiana Jones hates snakes, well, that's me with spiders. Can't stand them. All right. So, to see that spider, I'm taking out my slingshot. I see an eyeball up there. Little cutscene shows us our enemy, the queen. Me. 
Yuck. All right, there's a couple ways to do this. One way, I mean, the best way really is to hit that eyeball. You can, um... Hit that eyeball while she's on the ceiling. So I have to distract her for a second there. And, uh... When that eyeball turns red, right about... Now, hit it with your slingshot. Take out your sword. I was hoping I'd get it that first go around, but all right. Now, keep watching her. Keep Z targeting. Keep Z target, Z target, Z target, Z target. And then wait for it to turn red. There it is. Red. There we go. Use my slingshot and forward slash. Oh, crap. Right behind her. And there she goes. Just a rotting, burning, festering carcass now. What did I tell you? First of many additional heart containers. And that brings us up to four. All right. As with every dungeon, when you beat it, grab your heart container first. Don't leave without it. Then head off to this blue. This is the portal. This portal takes us out. In the future, in the big dungeons, it'll always take you to the um, Chamber of Sages. Something like that. Um, but now this brings us back to the Deku Tree. Well done, Link. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou would be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet one more to tell thee, wouldst thou listen? Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. There he is. King of evil. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerous powers in search of the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sac sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Thor, the goddess of courage. Din. With her strong, flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created red earth. Meru poured her wisdom under the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Faror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms that would uphold the law. Sounds like a trustworthy, good society, doesn't it? The three great goddesses, their labors completed, and the golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left their world 
Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm of Triforce. The triangles. But yeah, I mean, they are three parts made one. The trinity, if you will. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast a death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Through your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There, thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take the stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast this curse upon me. Here's our first one. You got the Kokuri Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the deep, great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi, good my. I'm so sad. But... All life goes on, doesn't it? One end is merely a beginning of another. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Good. Bye, Great Deku Tree. And to do that, you march your way all the way across that main thoroughfare right there. You have to cross this bridge. Oh, you're leaving? I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay. Because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. We've got a title, people. We have our ocarina. You received the fairy ocarina. Hmm. Are there more than one? You can set this memento, you can you can put it on one of your buttons like the uh Deku stick, the seed, the slingshot. They're telling me that right now. And then you can play songs using these buttons and this button. Um anyway, these six buttons allow you to play the ocarina as if you're you know pressing the air holes on an actual ocarina. And when you play my ocarina, I hope that you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. First time, Hyrule Field. 
quite a lot of time spent here during the game. But this is our first time. This is like a series of puzzles. Moving puzzles, if you will, with these guard, these centurions, if you will, these guards, uh, sentries posted here, they make their rounds. And our trick is to navigate this little course and not get caught by them. Oh, this one has two. Oh, crap. Uh, look the other way, look at it. Okay, sometimes you can get by when he's not looking that direction. I just got away with it, so. All right, this can be tricky, although it's a lot less tricky than going on the ground. Because on the ground, you have to avoid the guard that's placed down there. And should I go for it? Look the other way, look the other way. Go, 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 go. Yeah, baby. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. All right, final puzzle. Oh, am I this lucky? Oh. Run, 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 Link. Run, 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 buddy. Run, run, run. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be a new record. It's bloody luck. Okay, but that was cool. And there she is. This is the castle courtyard. Before we go see the princess, though, I want you to come see these windows. Let's look at this artwork in here. Oh, look at that. I see Princess Peach. I see Mario from 64, his flying pose. And that is Yoshi. Okay, it's a great little Easter egg. Hold on, hold on. And let me look back this one direction. There's one more, yep. And I, there's Bowser. Not the best renditions, okay? Kind of, but isn't that cool, guys? I love that Mario's there through the window. You know, I've never really checked this one. Yeah, I think this one's not, not much going on there. All right, so let's talk to the princess. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then you are... Are you from the forest? Then... Then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green shining stone? Do you have it? Yes, we do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly... A ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story. I didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link? Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please. Keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce, containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it'll lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind 
has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Remember the Temple of Time? Yeah. We'll be going there shortly. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize the man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Sure. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the far desert to the west. The desert part of the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Oh. Can't stand that guy. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Thank you. I, I am afraid I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go. Find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful for you. We got Zelda's letter. Crucial to entering the next area in which we must venture. Um... You'll see soon enough. We're going to do that in the next, almost next installment. Um, anyway, up Death Mountain. All right, there's a there's a gate there at Kakariko Village, and uh, you'll see. And if you don't already know, I'll show it to you. So there you go, guys. That is our princess. Lovely young lady. Grows up to be a fierce and determined young woman who is our companion and our friend. And speaking of, this lady is also very important to us. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach the melody to the one from the forest. This is the ancient melody passed down by the royal family. And I've played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. 
there is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. You know, I like to call this the Triforce song. Look at the triangles, right? Two repeating series of uh, triangles, just like a Triforce, aka Zelda's lullaby, but I most of the time I call it the, uh, the Triforce song. If you see my other videos, you know as much. You learn Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. So let me lead you out of the castle. All right. Princess Zelda and Impa. Two powerful ladies. Two of our great friends. People that we need in this adventure so that we can beat that evil jerk. Ganondorf, you brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariga Village. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song that I just taught you has some mysterious power and only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it'll help you prove your connection to the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. Classic Sheikah move right there. And she's singing a lovely little song, so let's talk to her. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? <laughs> dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? And she is. There's little bitty Epona, right? Of course, we know grows up to be our, one of our, our best friend, our companion through these adventures. All right, so let's do something here. Take out my ocarina. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, cute, ocarina. Are you going to play this song with ocarina? Okay, this is the song. You've learned Epona song. And guys, I've thought about it a couple times now that I'm back. My voice is not what it usually is. A little bit of hoarseness to it, no pun intended. Hi, Epona. And uh, just bear with me. It'll get stronger over time. I can't wait till we get bombs. When we have bombs, we can blow that wall. And there you go, guys. Behind, what, this first row, where you see the plants growing, pull back the gravestone, and boom. Hylian Shield did not cost 80 rupees. Instead, it is free, and we now have it. This is where we're meant to be. When we're not dying, let's check it out. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon and moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody 
of the Composer Brothers. Sunzong. And there you have it. This song is powerful. Let's you turn night to day, speeding up time, you know. But also, it freezes the dead in their place, allowing you to either pass or attack them. So, uh, very cool. Easy to get. In the future, though, um, there's a giant dude, and he'll smack the living crap out of you. He's easy enough to avoid, but uh, still, the danger goes up exponentially in the future. And those silly little guys. So, here we are. And there she is. Playing that song that we need so badly. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is a sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here... You can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Okay. Try and follow along with the melody I play. Are you ready? Sarah's song. Great, great. Please don't forget this song, do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Sarah's song, and you can talk with me anytime. And there we have it. All right. You have to trigger it the right way. Point is, when you do, he goes, Whoa, you have an ocarina. And he wants to hear a tune. Lay it on me, baby. Here we go. That's always been my song. Something I can't forget. It's easy to play. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. So. And there we go. Dodongo's Cavern. We are going to drop down into the chamber. This is where you do want the Hellion Shield. Crucial to what we need to do. This is kind of a, uh, a process of defending yourself against him throwing bombs into his mouth and you know it's it's the old one two punch kind of thing and just see missed it great way to start all right this is where the hylian shield pays off i want to show you that all right he rolls around i completely futz that up but guess what throw a bomb into his mouth take out your sword and start going at him. By holding down your shield button with the Hy Hylian shield, you, you know, it goes onto your back, okay, and it protects your back, and he can just roll right, roll right over you, which is pretty cool. All right, am I? Uh, sometimes it's just stupid to follow him. Sometimes it pays. All right, here, good. All right, here we go. C target, take out a bomb, press the bomb, throw it into his mouth, get out your sword. Shield. You see the sparks coming off the shield? Yeah, that's what you want. That protects you from his massive scaly body taking you out. All right, here we go. Throw a bomb into his mouth. Booyah. Take out your sword. Give him a good swipe. Doesn't take much. 
So again, you throw the bomb in the mouth, and you know when you have that bomb out, you just press that bomb button again by pressing forward. That's that that throwing motion, and with the Z targeting, it lands in his mouth, stuns him enough to where yes, a couple of forward slashes with your sword, and he's good to go. Like other dungeon bosses, like other bosses, the bad guy. His carcass kind of gives up a heart container. Beautiful. It gives us a whole new heart container. And then what do we do? Into the portal. And we leave the dungeon. It's me, Darunya. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat delicious rocks from Danango's cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It'll make for an incredible story. I can't believe that the Danangos suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave? All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. He said, Give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there is no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Number two. Remember what Princess Zelda said. We need three spiritual stones. We brought her... The one from the forest that we got from the Deku tree. We now have this one. One more to go. She's a beaut. You obtained Goron's ruby. This is a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. Love the name, though, by the way. my One of my daughter's middle names is Ruby, named after my wife's grandmother. So uh, we, we really like that name around here. You don't know what it means by Swarm Brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you keep brushing up on your skills, and as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy at the top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Yeah, they want to give me a hug. You're doing the right thing, Link. Run away, buddy. Press your button with your fish. Dump it out on the ground. Inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. This, my friends, is the boss of Lord Jabba Jabba. Bioelectric and enemy Baronade? These names, right? So, this is kind of a multi stage thing. Um, as he has certain defenses he will deploy, and that's one of them. But the first thing is to take care of these tentacles that hold him to the ceiling. And then he release, releases these lovely things. Okay, There are jars around the outside where you can get 
You want to take care of as many of those like little defensive shell things that surround him as you can. I'm Z-targeting the best of my ability here. Okay, no, stop. Okay. Alright. Yeah, they're spinning around, they're spinning around. Kind of like a, a ride at the, uh, the state fair or something, right? Um, And here we go again. All right. Trying to get a Z target. Come on, stop it. All right. Here we go. So back and forth, you take care of his defenses, get the tentacles first, then he swings around, all that kind of stuff, stun him with your boomerang, you just saw it happen. And then a couple good swipes with your sword and he's good to go. What was giving Lord Jabu Jabu, and there's a heart container. Giving him a tummy ache is now gone, and look who's waiting for us. You, you're late. What took so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. It's funny, though. What you're about to see. How she changes her tune, right? Typical princess stuff. Not Zelda, right? She's kind of like the opposite of Zelda. Zelda's this strong... Independent, gracious, yet kind. This one's a real brat. So. It's all in the upbringing. You. You look cool. Cooler than I thought you would. Anyway. Just a little. Well. Anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. You mean the spiritual stone of water? Zora's Sapphire? Don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. All right, I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora's sapphire. There it is, guys. The third spiritual stone. You obtained Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back and see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. Everything's about to change. Everything's about to change. The whole world's about to change.
Oh, I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! So, you, can th you think you can protect them from me? Well, you've got guts, kid. Huh. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf. And soon... I will rule the world! Told you. So cool. All right. We're gonna go to the Temple of Time in just a moment. Oh, hold on. Jeez, Eric. All right, right there. Were you watching? Zelda threw something, didn't she? <laughs> there we go. Yes, we have a title. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure, which Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least, I could leave you the ocarina in this melody. You've learned the Song of Time. Now, Link, play this melody in front of the altar at the ta in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Okay, and for the first time, no pun intended, that by the way, check out that design. So similar, right, to Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, the Temple of Time, uh, up on the Great Plateau. Anyway, it has that kind of that church hole motif. Of course, it's destroyed in those two games, but um, different era. But I love that the design is the same. There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time 
and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads. Let's see. Master Sword. keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Link. Wake up. Link, the Chosen One. sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil-destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Link, don't be alarmed, but look at yourself. Look, Link, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed away here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? 
But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm, namely this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. You received the light medallion. Faru the sage adds his power to yours. Find the other sages and hit save Hyrule. Link, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for you. Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. One inside the goddess of the sand. Together, with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will bind evil and return light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there, holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary Hero of Time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, and I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand? That is chic. And as you can see, we have the Master Sword. And no longer is our Hylian shield, this massive turtle shell on our back. 
It's now a fully functioning proper shield. cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. I think that doesn't change with time is a memory of young, younger days in order to come back here again, play the minuet of forest. New song. It's actually a pretty one. By the way, one minute. You have learned the Minuet of Forest. Link, I'll see you again. And we will. We are now outside the forest temple. So, up the stairs. This room is surrounded by these big old paintings. But, doesn't look like there's much to do here. Well, try to head back. It won't let you. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, who is that? He looks familiar, though. But it's not Ganon. It's Phantom Ganon. Okay. Speaking of a spectral clone, um, this guy does just that. He tries to come out of these, he comes out of these paintings. However, one of them, oops, I should have used my card with it. One of the paintings, however, will um, have the real one, and one will not. Here we go, switch in here. Okay. They tend to be kind of like a, oh. I missed it already. Okay. Don't do that. I was trying to get to the edge of the room. If you miss it, if you can't tag the right one, the real one that comes out, then guess what? Get to the edge of the room, and then his lightning will not mess with you. Okay. Just like this thing. Edge of the room. Okay. This can be a, a little bit of luck. Takes a little bit of patience. I think it's that guy. Got him. Cool. So, yeah, you want to tag that guy before he comes out of the painting. It's this one. Two. Those is the real dude now. This is him. The goal here is basically a tennis match with these up. You have to volley them back and forth. When you do, go and smack the living crap out of them. Oops. 
Come on, guys. Look at it. Here we go. I'm using my B button to volley them back. And of course, my A button to do a forward power slash when I have them on the ground. And he got me again. Got three fairies at the ready, so we're gonna be fine. Here we go. There's a. Shoot, I keep missing my second volleys. Come on, you can get it, you can get it. Shoot. Okay. Right. Here we go, we're low on hearts. You know we love that sound. Here we go. Go ahead, get him. Got him. Phantom Ganon. Alright, so. You saw how we did that. He throws a little uh, power surge, fire deals at you. You gotta follow them back using your sword. Hey kid, you did quite well. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Yeah, that's how it is. What a worthless creation that ghost was. The guy can make ghosts, he is powerful. Although I guess you just have to kill someone to make a ghost. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Anyway, <coughs> more like he summoned him from the nether realms. Okay. Oh, I'm all tuckered out. Do not leave without this. <laughs> Link was bent over at his hands on his knees. It's like, oh, dude, I am worn out. But no, with another heart container, we're all filled up. Let's get out of here. Phantom Ganon, Forest Temple. We got it. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Sarah, sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it's destiny, and I can't live in the same world. But I will stay here in the for as the forest sage to help you. Now, please take this medallion. Remember our childhood friend? Way back, after the Dika tree. You know, she gave us a fairy. Ocarina. She's one of the sages. You received the forest medallion. Sarah awakens as a sage and adds her powers to yours. Sarah will always be your friend. Deku tree spout. Because you and Sarah broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kakuri never grow up. Even after seven years, but they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you're not a Kakuri. You're actually Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this to you. 
Well, did you look at that? Link's been an outsider since he was little, huh? Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified the country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape the fires of war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust her child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world. So he took him into the forest. After mother passed away, the baby was raised as, as a Kokuri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are Hylian. And we're always bound to leave the forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny. So, you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Isn't that cool? I mentioned the whole circle of life thing. It's not just a silly Disney song. You know, from one passing comes to new life and that's this little guy, so. The rebirth, if you will, of the Deku tree. That's the Deku sprout. In our quest for Gold Skull Tullas, there's one that we need to get as a kid in the past. However, we also need the Song of Storms. The beautiful thing is that this time travel is bi-directional. Here we go. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you have to return quickly, and I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time is the Prelude of Light. You have learned the prelude of light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. There goes Sheik. This is insane. What? He just won't come that final. Oh, come on. You can do it. Oh, come on. Don't don't you dare slip. Oh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Oh. That was nuts. 20 pounds. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're keeping it. We are keeping Okay, wow. Can you believe that? Whew. My thumb hurts. Wow.
I swear, real fishing is not as strenuous as that. I'm kidding, but that, that's crazy. Yeah, we want to weigh my fish. Whoa. This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 20 pounds. Seriously, here is your prize. And there you go. The golden scale. That's exactly what we wanted. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power. And through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. You have learned the Bolero of Fire. Link, I'll see you again. Here we are, inside the fire temple. Let's unlock that door. He plays peekaboo coming up out of the holes. You need to get him. You can also shoot arrows as he flies through the air. And I'll just let you guys watch. Switch the sword. Okay, first strike, hammer. Second strike, sword. And there he is. You can actually lock on and use a light arrow. It helps because he has a secondary move in the air. He drops all these lava boulders. But if you can snipe him with your arrows, he doesn't do that anymore. Peekaboo, peekaboo, and there he is. Hammer, sword. Hit him again. He should come up flying again, as dragons do. Oh crap, no. Oh crap, I'm. Wow. For example only, right guys? All right, if you don't snipe him in the head with an arrow, these lava boulders will fall from the sky. It's just throwing all this stuff at you. All right, he's going back down. That's what happens when you don't get that arrow in his head. Okay, so here we go again. One, two, and three. Sword out. Big forward slash. Okay. I'm out of arrows, so looks like we're going to deal with boulders, guys. Yeah. 
And we're also dealing with our fairy bottles. This is why we have them. I told you I didn't have enough arrows, didn't I? Yep, Boy Scout I was not. But hey, we're gonna we're gonna get with this guy real quick here. One, two, three. Hammer, sword time. Told you. There you go. The Dragon of Death Mountain. Once again, the smoldering carcass of our enemy turns into life-giving heart for us. Love that. Heart, heart container. Always get it. Don't jump into the portal until you have it. It's portal time. The fire temple. It's a cool temple. controller is vibrating like crazy. Yeah. Remember that guy in the rooftop that gave us a heart for visiting him? So they you just saw it. that big smoke ring of fire. It's gone now. Pretty cool. Because we dispensed with the evil within. And there he is. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the Wild Dardunia, turned out to be the great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. You receive the fire medallion. Doinya wakes up as a sage and adds his power to yours. Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. All right, here's Zora's fountain. No longer is Lord Jabu Jabu here. And off we go into the ice cavern. What's behind the door? This is a cool room. Check it out. Right away. Just like the beginning of the forest temple, right? This time like an ice wolf host. Easily handled. What is in the chest? That's right, the iron boots. Very key to what we need in the future. Look who's here. It's Sheik. We meet again, Link. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head out to the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. 
If you have the courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects the growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. It's a beautiful little poem, wasn't it? serenade of water. You have learned the serenade of water. Link, I'll see you again. Okay, Prince, I mean, Sheik. So dark. No. Um, I try to keep it real with you guys. And uh, there is zero pretense here. This is me. This is who I am, and uh, I like to keep it that way, keep my, keep things real. So, if you like it, you like it, and if you do, subscribe. If you don't, so be it. Thank you for watching anyway. Anyway, all right, so, we have a story, don't we? She has cuckoos, cuckoos, anyway, she has chickens, and she's going to give us one of them to hatch. That's easy enough, okay? She gives us an egg, you'll see. And come the next, like, sunrise, uh, it'll hatch. So, anyway, what we've begun... There it is. We borrowed a pocket egg. A pocket cocoa that, cuckoo that will hatch overnight. We've begun the Biggerin sword trading sequence. Okay, we're going after the big guy. The big sword. And right here, I'm playing the sun song. Okay, so it's now nighttime. If I play that again. There we go, got our chicken. Egg. By using it to wake somebody up, of all things. Remember this guy? Back in episode two, when we were at Hyrule Castle. This is. Uh, Mulan? Uh, anyway, the girl from Long Island. Yeah, Malin. Uh, it's her dad. By the way, Mario look like right there. That's a little Easter egg. That guy totally looks like Mario. Uh, his counterpart sort of looks like Luigi. Or Waluigi, possibly. So now that we have a happy chicken... Sounds like a Chinese entree. We bring it back to her. Oh, it looks pretty happy. You must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. You're a good, say that five times fast. Um, his name is Kujiro, and he used to be my brother's cuckoo. So here's the cool thing. She has another one for us, and she's asking, do we want to keep it? Uh, yeah. That's like getting a blue lobster. Here we go. <gasps> Why? Normally a nice guy like me can tame you, which means... Look at that guy, by the way. You must be a nice guy. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please deliver this stuff to the old hag in the poster shop in K Kakarika Village. Man, he looks awful. Like a walking dead or something, or uh, something out of Game of Thrones. All right, this will disappear. You have to do it in a hurry. Okay, in here is our potion shop. If you see that fool, 
Give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I've ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. Noted. And we received an odd potion, which she made from the odd mushroom. Uh, the special crop. Here we go, Lost Woods. Hey, this guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become Staffos. Everybody Staffos. So let's show her the odd potion. That guy isn't here anymore. Yes, we know. Thank you, young lady. This medicine's made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Sure. Take it, please. And look what we get. We get the poacher's saw. What are we going to do with a saw? I am the master craftsman. Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it, but all my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, so they went to Gerudo's fortress to become thieves. Hey you, if you're going to that fortress, that's major foreshadowing by the way. We will need to go to that fortress, but not just yet. So, we present him the saw. It is his saw. And, but all he has is a broken tool. Hmm. Yeah, take the saw. I want what you have. Here's why. And there it is. Yes, it's broken. I happen to know a master craftsman that can fix this for us. So, off we go. We've got the broken sword. Let's get it fixed and get our sword. My brother, open a new store. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. These are fine eye drops the Zora's Domain. Will you find them and go see King Zora? Please get the eye drops. Of course we will. If that's what it's going to take to get you to fix my sword, yeah, I'm there, buddy. So we now we have a prescription. And he has a prescription for eye drops. And King Zora is the, uh, the man that we need. All right, let's talk to the king. Ooh, this is well, hmm, hmm, eye drops. You might say we have them, you might say we don't. But we do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the Lake Laboratory, he can make the eye drops for you, but you need, you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Yes, we can. And check it out, I love this little guy. The eyeball frog. He's cute. I love animated frogs. They're giant eyes. With 45 seconds to spare. Lakeside Laboratory. Sounds like it came out of a rush lot in Lakeside Park. Oh wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Zora's Domain froze over. These eyes balls are so delicious. Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Uh, what? These are for making bigger ones eye drops. Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. A. Gross. B. Who would fry an eyeball? If you flash fried it. Maybe. That's the kind of thing you might lightly poach. Pan sear? Possibly? Oven? Maybe. But, I mean, anyway. My culinary side's coming out. I'm literally, all right, we got four minutes on the clock. And I'm wondering about how an eyeball would react to different heat sources. Yeah, I spent all of 2019 teaching myself everything there is to know about cooking. Mostly uh, savory type of cooking, baking, pizza doughs, breads, 
Um, I watched probably a million hours of Food Network television, websites, different chefs, cookbooks. Yeah, 2019 was culinary year. And uh, I got my own home honorary chef degree. Anyway, I spent, you, you just ask my family, man. Um, I had to get all the, the right tools, you know, uh, all the, the cool gadgets and tools and toys for the kitchen. Anyway, I spent a lot of time. And then I, I stopped. It's how I am with things. I kind of, I do them. I master them to the degree in which I feel comfortable. Then I know I've achieved a certain level of success. And then I, I'm good. I stopped. And I don't really care to cook much anymore. I love food. I do work at a restaurant part-time. So that part of me is always active. I'd love to own a restaurant someday. But I've been there, done that. And I've done that with other things as well. Um, I master them to the degree in which I feel I've mastered them, uh, whatever it might be. And I move on. Uh, it's like, done it. Anyway, that's kind of how my mind works. I guess I'm always ready for the next thing. I've been waiting for you, my eyes. All right, he needs his eye drops. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm gonna use them right now. I love that sound effect. Wow, this is stimulating. It's working great. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent, so I'll give this to you so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Just wait patiently. So we now have a claim check. Kind of a receipt. It is. He's going to trade us the sword for the claim check. That sword is my finest work. There you go, guys. The bigger and sword. You know, I hope I'm saying that right. I don't see how else to say it. Uh, it's a weird word, like a m m contraction of two words. So, we have it. Let's equip it and use it. It looks so, and the Master Sword looks so tiny next to it. Here we go. Oh, love the sword. Love it. I know, it's your finest work. And uh, thank you, sir. That, my friends, is a switch that you can hit with your hookshot. And we're going in. Okay, right away. This is where the 3DS version, okay? Ocarina of Time 3D really shines. The fact that you had the ability to tap a button on your screen and switch your boots on and off, toggle them. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. All right, here we go. All about time. Do not be afraid, young Luke. Fear leads to the dark side. All right, here we are. That's actually one of my better Yoda impressions. Yeah, I'm not great, but, you know, that was passable for me. Okay. Hmm. In the water be evil. Here comes the the monster, the great evil thing that's been plaguing the poor Zoras. That's right. It basically looks like the effects from the Abyss. If you saw that movie, what was that? Early to mid '90s, James Cameron, The Abyss. Okay, this can be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. And hopefully, I remember what I'm doing. So we shall find out together. All right. <clears throat> the trick is. You do not want him to grab hold of you. However, when he does that... Oh, 
you grab that little red ball, pull it towards you with a long shot, and slash away. But the trick is to not let this jerk get you, because he will. He's going to reach out and try to grab you. I want to get a good forward slash in, and I'm going to try, so give me a moment. But I've gotten a couple good hits so far. <clears throat> okay, it's not let him get us. Alright, he's down. Ah, darn it, I hate missing. Not my best showing. Alright, let's let's give this another try. I said let's give this another try. Come on, get that. I hear him, I hear him spinning around. Alright, he's way over there. Okay. let him reach first. Don't try to go for the ball while he's in the spinning vortex down there. Crap. Okay. It just takes some time. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to build some tension here, right? There he is. Alright. Bigger and sword. Come on. One normal slash is probably equal to two. I mean, like the 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 hard, the good hit. What is that sucker called? Anyway, when you do the forward slash, okay, the master sword. down there the monster is defeated do not just run forward into that vort into our portal look what's beyond it okay always make sure you get your heart piece and to make doubly sure I'm gonna come around from this side there we go Water Temple. Expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and his people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. 
I have to guard the water temple as the sage of water. And you? You're searching for the Princess Zelda? Ha! Huh. You can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. But you must take this medallion and take it respectfully. Love it. You receive the water medallion. Rudo awakens as a sage and adds her powers to yours. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? As water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it! Did Rudu want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Link. Together, you and Princess Rudo destroyed the evil monster. And once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is it as it was here. <laughs> that was hard to read. Yeah, it is depressing. The sight of the lake being empty like that. I'm glad it's back. Lake Hylia. Back to the way it should be. Here we go. Ganon. Back link. What is this? It's evil up here. Wow. Yeah. We got the crap beat out of us. But we're still here. Looks like you're coming around. Link, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But, the forces of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. 
I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in, in danger without any help. Link, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. You have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Link. And there. Okay. The Prelude of Light, not the Song of Time. Isn't it interesting how they named them, right? The Prelude of Light brings you to the Temple of Time. The Song of Time doesn't do that. Okay. You know what we do here, right? This is so iconic. That's right. We're time travelers, and we're going back in time. I've never really questioned the metaphysical reality of this switch right because as an adult link we have an adult body and when we first became that we were told that we were sealed away i've never really asked the question to myself and i'm doing it now which can be dangerous because i mean too many questions right um what happens when you go back again what happens to your body? Is it sealed again? P perhaps. Because in the past, where we are now, a young boy did something he shouldn't have. Playing the Song of Storms. Storms makes this happen. Go around, go around, go around. It's going way too fast. He, he looks like he's smiling, doesn't it? But believe me, I don't think he's happy. And then, check it out, it does go pretty fast. Okay, when we play the Song of Storms here in the past, it actually did something very cool. It emptied out the well, as you can see right there. Here we go. Into the darkness. What leave? What evil lies ahead? I had to mess up that line, didn't I? What evil lies ahead? <laughs> we made it. The bottom of the well. This is where the true horror begins. Ah! You have to let him grab you. It's really uh, disgusting. But... I'm trying to shake my way out of it. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh, here he comes. 
Oh, this guy's disgusting. I'm trying to. There we go. There we go. Alright, so maybe not a forward slash there. There we go. goes away and we actually that's what that's when he reveals himself okay he will reveal himself when he actually grabs hold of you and man I am doing horribly here all right well, we're gonna get this he is exposed that's a good thing and he will only come and attack you when you get close enough all right now he goes away it's a disgusting hand grab. Can you imagine what this guy smells like? It must be putrid. All right, would you let go of me already? Right, thank you. Target him. All right, he goes away again. He's grabbing. He's grabbing. All right, get on with it. That's right. Your limp, disgusting body. You just lay there. It actually is pretty creepy, right? There you have it, my friends. You found the lens of truth. This does use some of our magic power, okay? Which is fine, we have magic to spare. It shows up right here. And we can continue using this in the future. That's why we came here. We need the lens of truth in our inventory because it's very helpful in the next major dungeon as an adult. And yes, we're going back to the future. Marty would be proud. The Nocturna Shadow. Yes, we're going to the grave. I do get, hope you guys join me. Next time, we're taking on the Shadow Temple. And as you can see right here, we're in the graveyard in Kakariko Village. Standing on one of these warp points. Warp points? Symbols? And uh, let's do one thing before the... The Shadow Temple's right beyond that door. Okay? How do we open that door? Like this. That leads to the Shadow Temple. And we're in. Ah! Here he is, guys. <clears throat> bongo Bongo.
Bongo bongo. No more. I found that that method works best. Hit the hands, do the best you can with your arrows, okay? Z target them. Don't Z target them if you, if you can't. But you can shoot arrows blindly, or you can use your lens of truth. Or if you slash, slash and burn. Because you know that he's going to be coming between his two hands coming at you. Keep slashing. You'll hit his eye even before, or right before it becomes, uh, we can see it again, you know, from uh, invisible to visible. So, and then you just go at him. And then with the bigger and sword, it doesn't take very long. Crazy. And I have, uh, I've spent a few times in the past, other times when I've played. Anyway, uh, he, he can be quite frustrating. And believe me, I know. I know. I've been there. And we got an entire heart container. I like it. Very good. The Shadow Temple. Into the portal we go. Let's see what awaits us on the other side. Zelda Zacharina, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants, however, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When I last saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. Princess Zelda is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, to face and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. You receive the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her powers to yours. Please look out for the princess. I have a lot more I want to do and I'm having a real blast doing it. And I love sharing it with you guys. So if you want, join the party, have some fun. If you like this video, please like it. And that's all I got there. You guys know the drill. I won't go on forever about that. So, right up here to our right, by the way, that right there is the... Oh, they already got me. That didn't take long. I was going to show you the gate, which leads to the desert. We're going to be crossing that, I think, next time. But for now... The lovely ladies of Gerudo have trapped us. So the first thing we need to do is get the heck out of here. Using our long shot. Oh crap. 
You do not want to let her hit her hit you too many times. I've already let her hit me twice accidentally. Because what happens is they'll throw you back in jail. If she gets a good hit. And there we go. There's one. And here we go. Two. Three. There we go. Thank you, sister. Get another small key. Here we go again. Same thing as before. We have to beat her. This one is messing up. No, no, no. She tagged me way too many times. That was close. That was actually close. Like one more, and I would have been put back into my jail cell and have to go find this place again. So, uh, I'm glad that didn't happen. not that hard and I'm not really that triumphant right now um, but messing up twice and you anyway goodness sakes okay this temple requires both hey watch this you can actually move forward go past right by this temple requires you to be both young and the version which you're looking at on the screen right now older link sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through time's river. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead you to a child and back to the desert. Yeah, I read that wrong. Here we go. You notice how the songs are getting more complicated with each one. Sarah song, Sun song, Epona's, even Zelda's lullaby. They're definitely different melodies, aren't they? Uh, they're not in minor keys. Uh, they're more straightforward with the with the rhythmic flow in each one. We got the Requiem of Spirit. However, like the game. The temples 
the story in all of our lives. The songs in Ocarina of Time become more complicated, a little darker, more adult, if you will. And uh, I think that's kind of beautiful. And the music evolves with the game. So. Okay, these are deep thoughts with Loud Boy. Now, this temple has a lot of fire stuff in it. So it kind of makes sense to just stick with your Hylian shield. Even though you don't have that, you know, that really good protection, right, of the, um, of the wooden shield. I kid, of course. But, uh, ah, who's this? I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Hmm. I forgot what to say here. Let's say this one. All right, we'll try it again. How about nothing really? Oh yeah, I think we need, I think she needs to think that we're bored or that we have nothing to do. Yeah, see, can you do me a favor, kid? Wait a second, I wanna ask you first. You wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? We hate Ganondorf. You've got guts. I think I like you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Nabaru of the Gerudo and I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children and even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists of women. Only. Only one man is born every hundred years. I'm not even gonna think about how that works or doesn't. But we move on. Even though our laws say that a lone male Gerudo must become king of the Gerudo, I'll never bow to such an evil man. My kind of lady. By the way, what is your name, kid? Link? What kind of name is that? Well, anyway, I want to ask you a favor. Will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? The treasure are the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull very. You can push and pull very heavy things. No, 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 kid! Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets won't fit a little kid like you, even if you try to equip them. I'll bet you. I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Ganondorf and his minions are using the Spear Temple as a hideout. Only the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure that's inside and mess up their plans. Okay. How about it? Oh yeah, we're doing it. Thanks, kid. You and I, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise. If you successfully get the silver gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. All right, lady. Let's see what we can do. This is kind of a cool room. All right. This is like a rusted old statue. At least that's what I call it. And he's sitting there dormant waiting for this. Something to wake him up. Hello. He's mostly impervious. To that at least. Okay, now this is a cool little thing. When he hits. When he hits one of those columns, it actually releases hearts. So, yeah, like right now. His hits are pretty deadly. They, they take at least four hearts from you. Luckily, the columns can replenish that. And, well. I was about to say, do your, doing your best to avoid him. Whew. Okay. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. There's a hit. 
like a lot of the other enemies, you know, think about the wolfos, the lizards, um, when they're striking, it's when they expose, when they expose themselves to a, to an attack. Like that. Alright, come over here. I want some hearts. Thank you, sir. Oh, crap. That was hard earned. You notice I'm using my A button to do the forward slash, okay, the jump attack. Um, that is your strongest attack whether you're a kid or an adult. So, you know, just time those out. It's, it's a much better than slashing away with normal slash. So that, that's, that's what I'm doing here. Yeah, all right, good. Now he's gonna get faster. Right? He's, uh, he's lost some armor. I say he. Get close. Here we go. Here we go. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I made that comment, and I don't. If you haven't seen this, I don't want to do spoiler. Okay. We run into another one of these later. This is number one. Number two has a pretty big surprise. Hey, what's up, Link? Surprised to see me? Not really. He's everywhere. Uh, a long time in this world, almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even I thought the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time were merely a legend. Link, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all the people of Hyrule is, in, is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Was it ever? It's like, I don't know your backstory. Uh, here is my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. And we will. Hoot hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? I will continue to watch you. Hoot hoot hoot. Whatever. All right, bye, dude. Okay, this is cool. This is cool part one. Part two is later. Cool part two is super cool. Um, but as a kid, we get this. Remember what the uh, the lady by the door, by the hole wanted? Silver gauntlets. If only we could bring them back to her. But these gauntlets won't fit you, kid. Plus, uh, you promised to give them to Nabaru. You should keep your word. Of course we will. But what's this? Hey, where are you taking me? Ah, let me go. You, you fiends, Ganondorf's minions. Link, get out of here now. These witches, they're using black magic on me. There they are. Those are the ones that we need to use magic against them, their own magic. It is being patient. Alright, step one. There goes the armor. Okay. 
I thought I thought there was more, but <gasps> where am I? She was inside. I'm glad we didn't kill her. Well, well, looks like she's back to normal. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo. Maybe we should make her work for the great Ganondorf a little while longer. Then we should brainwash her again. This is where the mirror shield comes in really handy. Look at that stupid kid. He came here on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. All right, there's two of them. This requires a little bit of know-how, a little bit of patience. They're made of fire and ice, pretty classic. And, of course, one defeats the other now, doesn't it? Well, that's key to success in this battle. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. And the other one seeks to burn my soul. Lovely. Twin Rova Sorcerer's Sisters. Okay. So, yes, the goal here is to... Okay, here we go. I'm not sure who's about to fire here. Shoot. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right. Switching targeting to Ice Girl. And they're nowhere near each other, which sucks. And I'm on the tar wrong target anyway. Alright, that was Ice. Here, here comes Fire. Almost, almost. Too soon, too soon, too soon. Gonna initiate this right now. And we're back. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Oh, they keep doing that.
That was fire. Alright, fire just shot. And then now target fire. Because ice should shoot next. took forever. When you do hit them, I, I believe, twice each, they combine into one big Mega Witch and somehow magically make herself a little bit more attractive. Um, so... So the trick here is you can charge up your shield with three doses of a certain type of mag magic. Uh, there's two fires that if she's about to, to shoot ice like that, you don't want it. It'll get rid of the fire that you've charged up. So you have to keep an eye on it. Yep, we don't want that. Okay, we don't want that. Don't touch that. Here we go. Come on, give me some fire, give me some fire. Nope. Darn it, and I just lost it. Okay. Well, I just want to show you what happens. Um, shoot. And that, that was a fire. So, with three doses, it'll send back a blast of that type of magic, right? It hits her, and then we slash and burn with our sword. That's the... Open the goal, of course. She goes back and forth through the room, back and forth. This should be ice. Yep, so we're going to avoid that. We don't want ice. Because it gets rid of the fire that we've charged up. That's ice. Avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. And we have two fire so far. We have two fire. Run, and that's just another. Alright, so she goes in and bounces three. Which just makes sense. And okay, this should be fire. That's fire. And then we let loose. We hit her. We get out a sword. And try to hit her, which I messed that up big time. Oh well. Um, Alright, here's fire again. Didn't get it. Because I didn't have my sword out. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do ice this time. Because I've already missed two bouts of fire. Oh, I want that. I missed it. And I got I got hurt. Darn it. Alright, there's an ice. Right, I'm gonna have to wait for the whole the fire to come by now. That stinks. Oh, wow. There's an ice. And I have a feeling this will be fire, which means that... Yep. Which means that I... I lost it. I lost it. It can be frustrating. I might just let her... There's, there's two fires, and unfortunately I think this next one is ice. Which means that we have to wait for three down three ice hits. There's one. So we get come back around the fire. Get out of the way. We do not want to get frozen. Of course, then we get rid of that lovely sound. Uh, our heart container getting low. Okay, this should be fire from my math. That's kind of been correct. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give a good strike. Taking out a sword. Yeah. 
Let's just knock this out now. I can't stand that sound, and I know you guys don't want to hear it either. Here we go. Putting away a sword, taking out the shield. But I got a charge, even though I got knocked back. That's good. Target. Wait for the fire. There's two. There's two. There's two. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't give me ice. Don't give me ice. Here we go. Thank you. And let's shoot it back. Shoot it back. Oh yeah, take out a sword. Jump. Yes. Yeah. It takes so long sometimes. That boss. Ridiculous. You know, just the whole process takes a while. Shoot. What a fresh kid. This time, we'll take it serious. What? Uh, no, there's not going to be a next time. They've got halos around their heads, don't they? That means you ladies, I don't know. I don't think you're going to uh, heaven. <laughs> They're only 20 years old. Either. No, you guys are destined to a whole another kind of place. That's where evil goes. All right. Heartless. Yeah, they're, they're just like that. That's the best. I'll come back to haunt you. Sweet. <laughs> oh, she, there it is. Don't leave the room without this. Now, we can warp out. Pretty cool, huh? Spirit Temple. Tr twin Rova. <sighs> Chamber of the Sages. This, I believe, is our final medallion. Pretty cool. And look who's the sage. Kid, let me thank you. Look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches. And I was used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But, isn't it funny? That a person like me could turn out to be the sage of spirit. And now I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No. Link. The hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then. I'm going to give you this medallion. Take it. Here we go, guys. Spirit medallion. And now she's a sage to add her power to her. That's gonna come in really handy, right? They keep promising to add their power and to help us, but it's gonna be a big deal coming up when we head off to Ganon's castle. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. Time for the final showdown with the king of evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Kind of a big clue, right? That's where we need to go next, the Temple of Time. And thus sh we shall go there. So, Prelude of Light is what we need. We have our medallion. We're, we're all, we used up all of our, um, our fairies 
Fair enough, that's why we have them. So, let's play it. Prelude of Light brings us to the Temple of Time. And somebody's waiting for us, I wonder who it is. I've been waiting for you, Link. Guess who? Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened the six sages. And now you have a final challenge. They showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, listen well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of the one who enters it, if it's an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three powers. Power, three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that the Emos believes in. I think we know what Ganondorf wants, right? If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. That would be a cool tattoo, wouldn't it? Triforce. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the Door of Time and opened the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become mighty, evil king. But his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those who were chosen by destiny to hold the other two Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. There's seven sages. Here we go. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in this disguise, but it was necessary for me to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant Impa. We all remember that we've seen this scene a couple times now, haven't we?
I thought I should entrust the Ocarina to you. I thought that it would be best, our best chance. As long as you had the Ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the Sacred Realm, but something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sac Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, in the Sacred Realm a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as Sheikah. I hoped that you would return, and I waited seven years. She's had to do that, even in Tears of the Kingdom, right? Take the long way through time travel? And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king. It'll end. The six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back to the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the King of Evil, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is the weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defenses, the power given to the Chosen Ones, the Sacred Arrow of Light. So remember, we were just using fire arrows, and now we're getting the light arrow. And of course, the ice arrows we get in Rudo's training ground. You got the light arrow. Uh oh. This is vibrating big time. You guys hear it? That rumbling, it can't be your controller. No. Let's see what it is. Oh, crap. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. Guess who that is? But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. She's been hiding. And when she came out of hiding, guess who was waiting? Captain Evil. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No! It was not a kid's power. I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. He now knows that we have that too. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, I will obtain these two triforce. So he's Lori. She's bait now. He wants us to come so we can get the last two. Then I will become the true ruler of the world. Typical, typical dictator, evil jerk. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Yeah, he wants us. And we're going to oblige. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.